New Zealanders. Question number 10, Derek Ball. Uh, my question is to the Minister for Veterans. What progress, if any, has been made regarding the government's decision to repatriate the remains of New Zealand military personnel and dependents who were buried overseas after 1 January 1955? The Honourable Ron Mark. Thank you, Speaker. Ke te oki oki nā i o tātou tūpuna, haere, haere, haere. Mr Speaker, yesterday I, on behalf of the government, attended a ramp ceremony at the Ohakia Air Base, uh, welcoming home three New Zealand Defence Force personnel who were repatriated from Fiji and American Samoa. It was a privilege to stand with the families of our fallen as a Royal New Zealand Air Force C-130 Hercules Return Flight Lieutenant George Bevan, leading aircraftman Ralph Scott, both from Fiji, and Royal New Zealand Navy Engineering Mechanic First Class Russell Moore from American Samoa to New Zealand soil. The repatriated personnel were received with a pōhiri and a tri-service guard of honour, after which they were handed over to their families. A short private family service was held, followed by a moving haka. The families will now re-enter their loved ones in a place and timing of their choosing in New Zealand. Uh, what can the Minister tell us about the military personnel who were repatriated? Mr Speaker, point of order. Uh, I did a, point, a point of order, the Honourable Ron Mark. No, Mr Speaker, I, I heard my office contacted you and said this answer may be a little longer to yeah, Chief yes, Justice. Yes, I, I, I understand that. That's Thank you, Mr old. Speaker. Uh, to the, I can report to the House that Flight Lieutenant George Thomas Bevan, MBE, served in the Second World War as an RNZAF medic. He was discharged at the conclusion of hostilities. He re-enlisted in 1948 as a RNZAF secretarial officer. In 1954, he was posted with his family to RNZAF base uh, station at Luthala Bay as a senior secretarial officer and press liaison officer. He died of natural causes aged 40 on the 31st of August 1956 in Fiji and was buried in the military section of the Suva Cemetery. Leading aircraftman Ralph Henry Scott enlisted in the RNZAF as a fireman on the 27th of December 1956. He also served from 1952 to 56 in the Royal, New Royal, Air, Royal Air Force as a fireman. After a period of basic training, he was posted to RNZAF base Ohakia as a fireman. In August 1960, he was posted to the fire crew at RNZAF station Luthala Bay in Fiji. He died of natural causes, aged 28, on 15th of October 1960, and was buried in the military section of the Suva Cemetery. Engineering mechanic first class Russell James Craig Moore enlisted with the Royal New Zealand Navy on 28th of July 1955. He was posted to the survey vessel HMNZS Lachlan and while on the ship in Pangapango, American Samoa, he died in an accident aged a very young 19 on the 9th of July 1956. He was buried in the naval section of Sotala Cemetery in Pangapango. Uh, when will the remaining repatriation ceremonies take place? Mr Speaker, I can report to the House that there will be three more tranches of service personnel who will be repatriated. 29 service personnel and one child uh, will come from Malaysia and one service person from Singapore. They will be repatriated as one group and will arrive in New Zealand in mid-late August 2018. Two service personnel from the United Kingdom will be returned to New Zealand in mid-September 2018, and two more service personnel from the Republic of Korea will be returned to New Zealand in mid-October 2018. All of the ceremonies will follow the same format as that uh, that was uh, conducted yesterday and will include senior representatives of the nation, senior defence officers and officials, and representatives from the veterans' organisations and communities. 
Supplementary. What additional support is the government providing to the families? Mr Speaker, the Coalition Government is funding the disinternment, repatriation and reinternment of the deceased at no cost to families. The, a contribution of $1,000 will be made towards a memorial for those reinterred in a public or private ceremony. The New Zealand Defence Force, Mr Brownlee, has assigned liaison officers to the families and will also offer additional support to reinterments if families request it, such as pallbearers, a chaplain or a uh, and a bugler. If families do not wish for their loved ones to be repatriated, then the government will continue to care for their graves overseas. Before we uh, move to the next question, during uh, question eight, there was an interchange between myself and the Honourable Stuart Nash. Um, I twice used an expression which, uh, upon reflection, I think uh, was inappropriate. I want to apologise to Mr Nash and to the House. Question number 11, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Justice.